Here are four easy changes that help me go from a size 24 to a size four. Number one. I went from being completely sedentary to walking for 15 minutes a day at a leisurely pace. At my heaviest weight, I was 275 pounds. So physically, I really couldn't do very much. Doing the most basic of daily activities like bending down to tie my shoe, getting up and down from a seated position was really difficult for me because of my weight. So doing any sort of exercise was pretty much off limits for me. The one thing I could do a little of was walking. So I decided to try that and I committed to doing walking every single day, rain or shine for 15 minutes a day. That was something I knew that I could handle and sustain. And so I got outside every day and I allowed myself to go at the pace that I could. And I did have plantar fasciitis so bad in my left foot that it did make walking difficult. So I allowed myself to take however long I needed for the 15 minutes. I had to stop every three to five minutes for a rest for my foot, but I just kept going at the pace that I could and every day I did it. And the more consistent I got with it, the easier it got. It was like my body really responded to that. And so I was able to eventually have less and less breaks and go the full 15 minutes without stopping because I was able to sustain it and do it every day. And that was like, you know, something huge for me going from barely doing anything, barely being able to function physically, and then being able to walk for 15 minutes at my size with all the health issues that my weight was causing me. So I walked for 15 minutes every day for three months, and that was how I lost my first 50 pounds combined with portion control, which I'll share a little more later. And then I was able to do a little bit more, so I upped it to 30 to 40 minutes for the rest of the year for a whole the remaining of the year, I walked for that long. And then I was able to lose like 100 pounds in the year. And then it took me a bit longer to lose the last 30 just because I had some setbacks with emotional eating and things like that. But I continued the walking every day. And ever since then, I gradually built up to an hour a day, six days a week. And that is what I do now. And I still go at a leisurely pace just you know, so that my heart rate's up, but it's just the pace that I feel like going. And that's how I've been able to keep it up for so long because I just go at a pace I like and it's sustainable for me and I enjoy it. The next thing that I did, number two, was I made the change from drinking liquid calories to choosing zero or low calorie drinks. I was pretty much addicted to high calorie drinks. I loved cappuccinos, hot chocolates, pop. I drank seven cans of regular Dr. Pepper every single day. I didn't want to get rid of it, but I knew it was causing me to consume hundreds of calories in just liquid. And I thought, well, that could be an easy way to get in a calorie deficit without really noticing. So I switched over from, you know, full calorie hot chocolate to things like light hot chocolate. And I switched from regular pop. I don't have Dr. Pepper, but I do have a Canada Dry to show you ginger ale. I switched from a regular pop to a diet. So if you can see this little bottle of Canada Dry ginger ale, it's 110 calories or zero for this can of diet. So I literally, I wasn't ready to eliminate the amount of cans or like lower the amount. So I just switched from seven regular to seven diet Dr. Peppers. I still got to drink my pop, but I put myself in almost a thousand calorie deficit because one can of regular Dr. Pepper is about 140 calories. So I was saving myself a lot just by not drinking liquid calories. And there are so many options out there right now. Like we just found out that there are certain things like Minute Maid has like zero sugar now where the calories are way lower. And so you can still enjoy your drinks for way less calories. Number three, I went from eyeballing my food to actually measuring it out. So I was literally just having three or four plates of dinner, just piling the food on, not really being mindful of the portions. 
and I was consuming probably thousands of calories not even realizing it because I didn't know what a portion was. So I started, I bought some measuring cups, measuring spoons, and like these are literally old because I've been using them for eight years. We get them at the dollar store, Walmart, wherever. Yep, as they break, we just get new ones at Walmart and a dollar store. And this scale, it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. We got this a long, long time ago, but you can get them anywhere. This one's a perfect portion. Yes, perfect portions, digital scale. I think you can get them anywhere at Walmart. Any digital scale will work. Basically just to weigh out meats and things that have that come in grams where you can't quite measure them out with a measuring spoon or a cup and i use the serving sizes on the backs of packages so for example as a guide so i would look i want oatmeal for breakfast okay half a cup is you know 150 calories so i would take my half cup measure it and that would be my serving for breakfast and that's how i did it i allowed myself to eat the things that i enjoyed but i measured them out that way i wasn't feeling like i was denying myself but it was helping me be in a calorie deficit without having to do a ton of tracking or number stuff because i also struggled with emotional eating along with my weight so any sort of calorie counting number tracking really threw me off so portioning my food out using the serving sizes on the packages really help me eat less without feeling overwhelmed by all the numbers. When me and Nicole went from not tracking to this like no brainer thing of just grabbing whatever it says on the back of here, scooping it in, the fat literally melted off of both of us. And I've lost 130 pounds as well and kept it off. For the same, same amount of time. And like the moving our body with the walking every day we both made the pack to do that combined with the portioning out our food not drinking our calories and the one i'm going to show you next like kyle said like we lost we had so much weight to lose and we were consistent we could stick with this we lost 50 pounds in the first like three months and it was so much easier than me and nicole were making it in our brains we were yeah. complicating everything in because just 15 minutes and listening to the packages tell you how much to eat. We made it so complicated for so many years. We did everything not sustainable, took away food groups, tried over exercising, injuring ourselves by trying to do exercises we weren't physically fit enough to do. And finally we were like, there are some things we haven't tried, like maybe trying some real easy changes that we can actually do. Things like common sense. <laughs> <laughs> but we like for decades did not do common sense. No. We thought it had to be a punishment. Then we realized, wait, you can actually enjoy this and make this easier. And so number four, we switched from regular versions of our favorite like foods, condiments, sauces, seasonings, to low calorie versions most of the time. Every once in a while, we give ourselves the regular thing just to not be in denial of things. But for the most part, we choose the low cal version and that allows us to eat less without realizing it and still allowing us to enjoy what we love. So for example, we absolutely love ice cream. That's like a non-negotiable. We don't wanna get rid of that. So we switch to frozen yogurt most of the time. And literally like there are a ton of really cool flavors like we're in Canada. Canada, so this is a Canadian version, but vanilla and chocolate chunks and caramel, like it literally tastes like ice cream and it saves calories. Like, um, we actually have a regular for comparison. Um, like I said, every once in a while we have the regular version. So this is regular ice cream for three quarters of a cup. It's 260 calories, or you can have three quarters of a cup of the frozen yogurt for 200. So you get the same amount of ice cream, but 60 less calories. And that's what helped us eat a little bit less without noticing and stick to what we were doing. And that's what you want to do. You don't want to do like traditional diet advice online is like, if you love ice cream, why don't you switch it out for a bowl of spinach? It's not even close comparable and me and Nicole could never those. stick to that. Yes, that's such a good point. Like I see all the time online like, oh, if you're craving chocolate, why don't you try a bowl of strawberries? Well, that doesn't work for me. If I crave ice cream, I want something similar it's to ice be cream, close. you know? And so like, we didn't want to give up meatballs. So we switched. These are like lean, the, these are blue menu, which means they're lower fat in Canada. So these are like the lean beef meatballs. We still get to eat them, just lower cow. Did not want to give up pepperoni. I love pepperoni. 
These lean turkey pepperoni from Costco, they're only 50 calories and like, I think they're like six grams of protein, which is really good per stick. Wow, do they ever taste like pepperoni? You would never know they're turkey, except Kyle's gonna make the joke, except I just told you. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, but would anyway. never, I would never make such a silly, juvenile joke like that. And then another one like, finding things where you get the same amount like I showed you with the ice cream and frozen yogurt, but they're less cows. So for example, jam. We love jam, but it can be pretty high cal. So switching to the no sugar added smuckers where it's actually lower calorie. For one tablespoon of the low cal, low sugar jam, it's 20 calories. Or like the regular version of the smuckers strawberry jam, for one tablespoon, it's 50 calories. So you're saving 30 calories and it still tastes pretty darn good. Like you really don't notice a difference. And that's what we did. We still eat all the things we enjoy, just the lower calorie version of them. And so the friends, I hope that this shows you that you can enjoy what you're doing. You can make it fun. It doesn't have to be a punishment and it doesn't have to be crazy changes. You can make very small changes just like we did. We made the small, easy changes like this that allowed us to sustain them and build on them so that we continue, could continue on and get the weight off and keep it off for eight years. Love you. If you want to know exactly what I ate, Zach Portion's meals to lose the weight, I have weight loss eBooks, code Nicole to save yourself some mooly. Also, we got this. We got huddled HTLT sups. Code Nicole will save you 10%. These, they just came out with the Seco Bar Plus Caramel Toffee Crunch and Dirty Cookies and Cream. These are amazing. They taste like chocolate bars, but with less sugar and more protein. And you also got these ones, the Seco Bars, and they are a delicioso treat. Catch ya in the next vid, cuteroonies. If you like this, don't forget to give you a thumbs up because that helps out the little algorithm. I love ya. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you soon, cuteroonies. Peace. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.